Thanks for staying with us. All right, we're going to move on now to Vanguard. Naira, Tinubu, shock currency, speculator says presidency. Ajero, NLC, TUC, declare nationwide strike on November 14th. I won't already sign agreements, Wicked declares. Why Southwest governors ended political interference in Udua group, says Abiodun. And NNPC, Aeto, JV, introduces <clears throat> Nembe crude grade to oil markets in London. Okay? Yes, it's, our FCT minister has expressed his desire to painstakingly follow through all bilateral agreements with uh, his administration would enter with anyone. So this is what he means. He says usually these bilateral agreements would end up at discussion level. Nothing is ever done after that. That for him, it, he will not hurriedly get into these agreements, but also it will not just be agreements that will just end once the <clears throat> discussions are over. And he was saying this to the um, Irish ambassador to Nigeria, Peter Ryan, and they are talking on you know, some of the things that they could work together with Nigeria on, especially the FCT. Um, the minister for the FCT is saying that, see, Nigeria will have huge arable lands. Mm. Let's see how we can work with Ireland, since they are quite strong on agriculture. Um, Ireland is saying that they are looking at agriculture, education, and ICT, that they have a huge community of Nigerians in Ireland, and they are making huge impact in ICT and agriculture there as well. You know, they talked about other things, but then I was hoping... Okay, they said um, the Nigerian community is huge on ICT and sports. Mm. So that brought to mind the story of the young girl who had who was publicly, in my opinion, racially abused when she was not giving her medal. her medal. I hope it came up during this conversation to see how Nigerians are being treated and if, you know, something specifically was done to address that issue. I would that, have loved that, that. That was very painful to watch. Yes. When he said I have the Joajero story. So <clears throat> the NUC as well as the TLC, um, NLC and the TUC, sorry, I've swapped them have decided that they will start an immediate strike in Imo State starting today and that they will go on a nationwide strike if they, their issues are not met by November 14th over this um, Imo State issue. So some of the allegations in the communique are that they have grievances on outstanding salary areas on just declaration of about 11,000 workers as ghost employees, non-compliance to the 30,000 minimum wage, and that they also have allegations of declaring of about 10,000 pensioners as ghost retirees. These are strong allegations, and I hope the Imo state governor is not playing politics at this time. He should be responding technically in details to some of these allegations. Also, they insist that, you know, the act of violence and bloodshed that has happened in Imo state that was inflicted upon their uh, members, especially uh, Joe Ajero himself during the planned botched um, protest was masterminded by the, um, um, the executive in Imo State. They're insisting that that is the situation. And they will start strike by stopping, first of all, all in-flights coming into Imo State. Um, uh, they will stop flights coming into Imo State, in and out of Imo State. For supplies, electricity, all of that will be stopped. You don't want to force this hardship. Mm. I think by now they should be sitting down, instead of playing politics and responding in front, on the front pages, they should be sitting down at a table and clarifying these issues by elimination method. Mm. This one, not us. Tact, establish your evidence. This one, not us. And let's not leave yeah. politics for later. Okay. These are serious allegations. So I have a story, uh, an inside story. It said a yet to be identified middle aged man was feared dead yesterday, while five others sustained various degrees of injuries when irate youths went on rampage at Iowa Udekwe community in Ogbaru local government area of Anambra State, uh, triggered by last Monday's Iowa Udekwe Landlord Association election. It said at such press time, 30 vehicles, 20 buildings, and other property estimated at over 100 million were equally destroyed hmm. by the youths uh, purportedly working for the indigents of you know, the state. So what happened was that the Landlord Association had planned to have an election for their new executives. And so they planned the election to happen on Monday. But then uh, the indigents, the landlord indigents, did not want that election to hold. So they had their own, a separate one from the main group on Sunday and elected their own representatives. But on Monday, the non-indigents came, as usual, to have their own election. Those people came, sent their youth to come and scatter the place. They moved to another uh, environment, successfully concluded that election. And then by yesterday morning, 
they had sent the, the indigenous had sent their youths to their houses and they started destroying properties worth mm. over 100 million. They said, according to the president of the Landlords Association, that's the uh, president elect of the non Indigenous Landlord Association, said that uh, they had come to his house, they burnt his car, they damaged his properties, what? they went to the vice president's fa soap factory, they damaged properties there. You know, one person is nearly dead, uh, a lot of other people are injured. And so they are asking that those um, indigents, those youths, are going to pay for what has happened. The police has confirmed <laughs> the story, and they have promised to start investigation to find out exactly what happened. Okay, so can in Abuja yesterday, some of the eminent Christian clerics, including Archbishop Daniel Oko, President of Khan, Most Reverend Henry Ndukuba, Primate of the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, mm -hmm. amongst so many others, have declared that despite Nigeria's deplorable <coughs> situation, it is not irredeemable. This is quite interesting to hear because Khan was very vehemently um, against um, recent happenings in the past few years. Um, so amid ongoing trials faced by the nation, the religious leaders made a renewed call to action for Nigerian Christians, emphasizing the importance of unity, constructive engagement with the government. Oh, wow. And a commitment to improving the lives of all citizens. That is really interesting to hear from Khan. Because mm. there was a time that Khan got really, really interestingly engaging uh, during the election period. Okay, moving on quickly now to the new telegraph. Mm -hmm. Sada says, Guba will nullify results where there is violence. Where, yeah, says INEC. Senate probes lopsidedness in federal government's recruitment and deployment. Reps vows to end terrorism financing money laundering. Study shows hope as finger prick test detect brain tumors. Lagos Guba poll appeal court reserves judgment and look in LP and PDP's appeal. And um, market dynamics, mm. others liable for new fuel hikes, says Ipman. Okay? Um, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so scientists are developing the, world, the world's first finger prick diagnostic for identifying brain tumors. I thought this would be interesting for us since we had a neurosurgeon yesterday. yesterday. So this would mean that uh, it would be non-invasive and that um, you're able to detect brain tumors at an earlier stage and you're able to do it at home. So what happens now is that you go for MRI scans every three to six months if you have like a brain tumor, especially when it's reoccurring. But <laughs> if this is finally developed, mm. of course it's Oimbo people that are developing. If, <laughs> if it's finally developed in your home, weekly you are able to just Check. prick your finger mm. and then if there, it would give you As some if you're doing signs. Yes. Wow. So this will make it <clears> much <throat> easier. Mm. Less invasive and able to catch the tumors quickly. We thank okay, them. So we wish them all okay. the best. I wanted to take this um, Senate probes lopsidedness in the recruitment. So, um, in a the motion, they adopted a motion moved by Senator Titus Zam, who represents Benue Northwest Senatorial District. And he, the motion is, you know, of course, um, mandating. Committee on Establishment and Public Service Matters to carry out an holistic investigation into the alleged lopsided and emerging infractions in the recruitment and deployment of officers by the Federal Civil Service Commission and other related agencies. He is insisting in that motion that the employment must reflect federal um, character of the nation. You, you know, it must curb, uh, it must it reflect the principle of federal character and curb lopsidedness across the country. It is not today. I will say it here, mm -hmm. quotes me, that, you know, we felt over the years that the civil service doesn't reflect Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And it's always tilted to a particular ethnic side, or, 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 or like what it should be. So some people will finish their tests, like my sister did in those days, and they will just cancel the entire test mm -hmm. because it doesn't, you know, it's not based on merit, it's not, it doesn't reflect. It does, they just don't want these things to happen. Everybody must be able to apply for a job and get and it get without it. seeking knowing assistance somebody. Or, or knowing yeah. somebody that knows somebody. Some people do believe that even religious, that certain uh -huh. religion, so some either ethnic, ethnic, ethnic and religion. Yeah. The yeah. last Senate yeah. raised this issue too. When they talked about how an NPC recruited secretly, mm. they, did not re yes. they did not publicize it, nothing. We cannot continue to run that country as if all of us. Yeah, big yeah, man is in nepotism. Yeah, nepotism. Yeah. Yeah. Some people have to, have to change their names. Yeah, so just to reflect sound, a certain thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's wrong now. Yeah, so it's all wrong. We're wrong now. Okay, so wrong, my wrong. let us go on a break. When we come back, we want to our hot topic of the day. Stay with us, Uber. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 